today I'm gonna to tell you about a four day tattoo session where I nearly got arrested. It was done in Playa del Carmen and it was maybe half of a leg sleeve. I got a Zeus with a Versace logo, a Fillmore, a Spartan helmet, an Atlas on the back of my leg. We'll circle through some pictures in this video which you're gonna see. But it was really cool. So my tattoo artist is from Kelowna, uh, British Columbia. His name's Donovan, he owns Evil Genius Tattoo Shop. And I met him a handful of years ago when we started doing this sleeve together. And he helped me with the Aphrodite and to touch it all up and fill in all the butterflies for some of my friends here on this arm. And so I was really excited. We'd been talking about potentially doing a tattoo. He comes down to play at Del Carmen a few times a year to go diving. And I was like, why don't we do like a tattoo, like a really, let's go intense and do like two or three days in a row. We ended up going four days in a row. Four days in a row. Four days in a row. That took superhuman strength. Holy crap, I don't know how I made it. So day one, we were at a shop called Ink Rocket, which is in downtown Playa del Carmen. And it was nice, it was a little bit smaller, but we got some really cool shots and we did the face of Zeus and the outlining of the Philomore on the side of my leg. <laughs> And that was pretty painful, holy, I, the leg tattoo is just as pain, all tattoos are pretty painful, but um, that day was definitely uh, an eye opener. And on day two, we went to Fifth Inc in um, downtown Playa del Carmen. And the reason that we're filming this is my friend Johnny came for days one and day three to film um, just some of the progress. I thought it would be really cool since Donovan and I were doing something cool together uh, to document the tattoo, his amazing art that he's done for me. and. Uh, showcase just like what we're working on together and getting a leg sleeve is obviously a ton of work and quite the investment so uh, I wanted to showcase it and so the photos from day one are absolutely incredible. Day two we started on the back of the leg that was pretty painful as well and on the back of the knee especially the pit areas the back of the knees the inside of the arms those parts are always really really painful and then on day three Johnny came back and this is where the main event took place. So it was after lunch, we'd been tattooing the back of my leg. I was in a ton of pain and I had went to the pharmacy across the street and bought a couple of, I think they were Percocets, like 10 milligram pills to take to help with the pain. I'm on day three of this tattoo, just going through it. And I just want a little bit of help with some painkillers. And there, you can just go buy them over the counter in Mexico. So I went and bought some and after lunch, um, Basically, the owner of the shop came in and said that there was going to be some cops coming around with a search dog. Hey, bro. and that we should get rid of anything that we might have. Of course there was you know, nothing that we would have had. Um, maybe it was flushed down the toilet, who knows. But either way, it wasn't on us at the time um, since the owner gave us a heads up. So I knew that we weren't gonna get in any trouble. And so I went to the bathroom and as I was in the bathroom, the cops just open up the door. I'm literally taking a piss and the dog comes in and starts sniffing me and then turns around while I'm literally going to the bathroom. I get out and the dog had found my bag and started smelling it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because maybe a day or two ago there was a joint or something in that pocket. Um, I cannot confirm or deny, but it definitely would have smelled like weed. This dog picked it up immediately. So they're emptying out my backpack and Johnny has all this on film. And he's just pacing around the shop behind me freaking out. <laughs> there were like eight or nine cops in here. And obviously I think maybe the guys who owned the shop had been in trouble before, but it was absolutely wild. So we um, ended up, he opened up my pillow Percocets and I had to tell him that I bought them at the pharmacy. Pharmacy, next door, shark pack. Yo compro Sarka, Parma Parma Couldn't find anything in my backpack, but they were convinced that something was in it, so they were basically tearing it apart. The dog sniffed it twice, and then they finally dropped it and looked at the rest of my pills and gave me my backpack back and that was it, I guess. They left us finally. I think I said, Donata, get the out of here was all I was thinking in my head. And um, it was maybe one of the craziest events ever. I've heard that you can go to jail if you have weed on you. Thank God that they told us to get rid of anything that we might or may not have had on us. Um, but you know, that, uh, that was this really, really scary moment. And if you've uh, obviously seen Donovan this whole time, um, holy man, we had a big, pretty intimidating guy with us. It probably doesn't help. Um, looking like we have a bodyguard and a videographer with us um, in this heat spot in uh, Playa del Carmen. But holy, it was one of the funnest experiences. The photos are gonna turn out amazing. This leg tattoo is gonna turn out amazing. It's only halfway done too, so we're gonna obviously have a part two of this. Maybe it'll be in an even cooler place in the world, but um, had to share this story because Almost got arrested in a four day tattoo session in Playa del Carmen. Uh, what an insane story and happy to share it. Let's go. I'd actually rather just narrate a day in the life of Johnny motherfucking shoe chuck right now. Just hit record and walk away. You know, you know, are we recording? Are we ready to go now? He wakes up around 8.30, putzes till about nine skis. How is it working? It's perfect, because it's always perfect. By about 9, 9.30, kids in the gym hitting it hard. Double scoop of pre, large scoop of creatine, testosterone pumping through the roof. Then he goes to the spa, hits cold tub like a real man, 10 minutes at a time, comes back, starts pouring mezcals. You have no idea what's gonna come next. You never know, he might drop a glass, he might fall over, he might break something, talk shit. You never know what motherfucking shoe is gonna do. I wasn't looking at the camera at all on the first one. Then he hits a birthday blunt, passes himself out, not before leaving munchies all over the house. <laughs> all over the house. You don't even know where you're gonna find munchies. You'll find him hidden in the couch. I'm gonna get really comfortable in day one of recovery from the four day tattoo session. What shoe will do after a blunt?